Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to cover the task overview. So in the previous video, we saw how we can set up task. So in this one, we're going to see how we can uh, uh, interact with the task uh, status interface. So you see, I have a different, uh, this information in here, it says that on which uh, server node, if there are multiple, definitely it's important, but if it is a single server, uh, it's not important, but where it ran and what is the current status? So these statuses can be uh, aborted, disabled, failed, queued. So in case, uh, so failed and disabled is simple, aborting is simple. Uh, but queued means that so sometimes there is a limit to how many tasks you can look yet that you can run on ClickU server. Uh, we can change that limit. We will see that in system configurations though. Uh, but uh, this, if uh, that limit has been exceeded, so your task and your task has been kicked off so it will be in queue or it is running at the moment uh, or it is run unrunnable because of a lot of failures it's currently waiting or if it runs successfully but there are certain warnings to be uh, uh, you should be aware of so these are different statuses uh, that you can see um, uh, on this uh, status overview and then when when was the last execution and when is going next execution going to happen you can also add it the task from here and uh, this button abort button so we, we saw the task status aborting so this button will be uh, you know uh, important if you are running a task and you want to abort it so now i'm running the task so uh, you see uh, i have this automatic refresh button in here so which says that it's gonna refresh it now uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that in here and now if I'm going to refresh successfully. Yeah, so I can manually refresh or I can get that automatically done. Okay, so this is running. This task is running now and this has run successfully. There is some additional information in here. Uh, if I click on this stop button on the top, so I have some task details where this what is the actual name. So you see uh, uh, at times this name is not that much intuitive so uh, I have this name here and I have this category and some other details of the task here and how much average time it's going to take this this matrix is very important uh, especially when you are planning your task dependencies and other uh, um, other tasks and you have a big server definitely it's important when multiple hundreds of tasks are running on a daily basis and then we have a task history when you know each success uh, when it was running at what time uh, when it completed and then we have these task logs uh, on the server uh, that talk about these are important when certain things are failing and then we have a document logs so i can see you know uh, these document logs uh, which we normally see when you're running uh, that script you can see you know, all those tasks in here uh, those logs in here uh, an important thing about these logs is that their logs are uh, by default they are not generated uh, for example if I go to this my movie database and I can I can't see any uh, dog and it says that unable to fetch any task uh, because the no log has been generated uh, okay so I just gonna run that and it's not gonna work for sure and uh, let's just run it it's running not running yeah and uh, it has failed and if i go to document logs to see why it has failed i have no clue why it has failed okay so in order to do that uh, we need to turn on the logs uh, for this one so this is a movies database and if i i need to open this one and I'm going to go to settings and go to documents and I need to click this check this option in order to do that and save the document and it's not going to save in here on the document uh, for some uh, obvious reasons uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to like you know it's a recommended practice whenever you make any change on a document you should not do that in the published space but rather you should I uh, do that uh, on a copy of yours. So I'm I'm here. I'm made a copy of it. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say generate this log file. Okay, save this time. It's saved successfully. And then I'm gonna copy this one 
and just republish the document and this is how you can you know republish a document as well so i'm gonna say continue and now if i go in here and i'm gonna run this document again and now if i go to the document log so still not here it will be here in a while it just take a little time to get that uh, into the yeah here you see can see you know you will see be able to see that what was the call of a cause of cause of failure it cannot find the excel file that it was using uh, so i can fix that error so this is how you can uh, utilize the um, uh, uh, task status overview in ClickView server.